In this video, I will show you how to install Reshade onto Sims 4. So you might be looking for a better graphic experience inside of the game. To install Reshade, you will need to navigate over to your browser and close down Sims. Now, after we have moved over to our browser, we select one of the search boxes and we write Reshade. Then we select it and we open up the first link at the top or reshade.me. Now, after we have gotten inside of the website, we press the download button. And when we get here, we press the download reshade 5.9.1 version. This is the case for me right now. For you in the future, it might be different. So we select that. And after we have selected that, we can minimize the browser or close it altogether. Then go over to our file explorer and then go into downloads. When we get into downloads, we double left click the reshade setup and you will see this section pop up. You press more info and at the bottom you will see the run anyway button. Since we know that Reshade is a pretty secure application, we don't need to wor worry about it hurting our PC, but be careful when doing this with other apps. We press the run anyway button and when we get right here, we can just look for Sims 4 in this category of games. Or we can press the browse button if it doesn't appear for you. We press the browse up option. Then we scroll down and we find the installation folder of Sims 4. For me, I have installed it using Steam. So I go and find my Steam folder. Then I go into Steam apps. Then I go into common. Then I find the Sims 4. Then I go into game. Then I go into bin. And here is the file that we need to select. We press once and we press open. Then we press the next button. And at the top, you make sure that you select Microsoft Direct X 9, because if you don't, it won't work for you. Now here you can install presets if you want to, but for this tutorial, that isn't necessary. So we press the skip button. Here we press the uncheck all button, and then you press check all once again to make sure everything is selected because everything is necessary. Then we press the next button and we wait for Reshade to be installed. Now, after we have installed Reshade, as you can see, successfully installed, you press the finish button and now you open up Sims 4 once again. And now we are inside of Sims 4 and the top you can see Reshade 5.9.1 currently compiling and installing. And now we are back, as you can see at the top, Reshade is now installed successfully. You can press the home button on your keyboard to start the tutorial. Here, you can either choose to go through the tutorial by clicking continue, or you can just skip the tutorial. After you have done that, you will be brought to this section right here, or you can press home and go to it, and select any of the effects that you want to add to your game. And for example, let's choose the blue one. And when I press the box next to it, it will check automatically, as you can see, the graphic just changed. Another thing to mention is that Reshade is safe to use generally with The Sims 4, but you might come across some issues when Sims 4 gets an update. So when that happens, make sure to reinstall the latest version of Reshade. That is it for this video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.